most of us consider our pets to be part of our family. And a new proposed law would protect them just like humans. News 12's Eileen LaPalmer is in Huntington, where she asked Long Islanders their thoughts on the dog and cat Bill of Rights. Well, take a look behind me here. All of these cats here just waiting to be adopted. Well, there's a new law that's being proposed in California that would have all of these cats and dogs, too, be treated the same as humans. I think that anything that's going to help the treatment of animals is something that I'm all for. David Seely, executive director of Little Shelter, tells me he supports the idea now coming out of California. It would give pets there more protections. It's dubbed the Dog and Cat Bill of Rights. It gives the pets multiple rights, including freedom from neglect and abuse, the right to health care, nutritious food, and appropriate exercise. It's always helpful when those types of things happen in California and the rest of the country usually follows or looks at it as an example. We really need to address the issue. But here in New York, as Gary Rogers with the Nassau SPCA explains, all animals are considered property. So abuse isn't a crime under the penal law. It's a violation of the agricultural and markets law, making it harder to hold humans who hurt animals accountable. We need better laws in New York, and I don't know whether giving them the same rights as humans would really fly in this state right now. Enhance the laws, uh, change the time frames when animals are left alone, take them out of being property, give them some, some, some type of right. I mean, they're not humans, but again, my pet at home, and I'm sure all of your viewers that have pets at home, they're, they're they are like humans. I mean, they're like our children and our family. And again, for now, this is a proposed bill in California. But as you hear, there's a lot of support for it here in New York State. We are here at Little Shelter in Huntington. Eileen LaPalmer, News 12.